In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down what I thought was one of the craziest Madden games that I have seen and one of the biggest upsets. I think a lot of people thought this was uh, going to be a very, very easy game for Blocky, but we're going to be breaking down Blocky versus Dat Boy in the Madden 21 Club Championships. I'm really, really excited to dive into this. This was a defensive masterpiece by Dat Boy. The number one defense in the Dolphins Club Championships. We're going to break down why his defense was so effective. We're going to break down what you can learn about it. Because Blocky, as you can see here, made over $114,000 in competitive Madden. And just a phenomenal player. But we're going to break down how Dat Boy was able to uh, basically bag Blocky's bunch for the majority of the game. So if you've never been to my channel before, my name is Cody. And I do Madden 21 tips and tricks videos just like this one. And one of the things I really like to do is learn from people who uh, are either better than me or played the game longer than me or learn from people who are on the same level or sometimes even people that aren't as good um, because I think you can literally learn from everybody in the game and I'm telling you what this guy right here Dat Boy Joshua Wright from Fort Lauderdale Florida put the world on notice last night he's only won $1,500 in the MCS but man he played lights out defense and we're going to break down exactly what he did so if you want to go ahead and click the subscribe button i'd highly encourage you to do that we also have our text message membership video coming out today ironically with a really 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 good uh gun bunch over an hour and 10 minute guide on how to run gun bunch effectively and we're going to jump right in here so that boy is going to start with the ball on offense and honestly, his offense is nothing, to, you know, it's nothing crazy. He's running trips tight end, audibly and down. You're going to see he's going to run double crossers. Um, but really, the game starts whenever um, he gets stopped here and basically, you know, is going to punt this ball back to Blocky. Now, what we're going to actually do is we're going to show you in practice mode. I've got practice mode booted up. I'm going to show you exactly what Blocky is seeing um, here on this play. So I got the Carolina playbook. Um, on practice mode, we'll jump right over here. Really, really quickly just to show you. So I'm gonna come out in the Carolina book, and we're just gonna set our audibles. This is pretty much the standard audibles uh, this year from the Carolina book. Uh, running double post, running smash return, uh, verticals halfback, or not? I'm sorry, not verticals. Um, PA dig fork, and then flood, and then mesh post. Those are kind of the main plays, and then obviously using uh, double post as a base play. Now uh, for for Dat Boy's defense, what we're going to do is we're going to turn auto football on. We're going to turn auto alignment to baseline, ball in air defense to play ball, option defense on conservative, tackling is going to be at aggressive. And then for these right here, the only one that I like to do adjust is put the curl flats at either 20 or 25 yards. Now, Dat Boy was using the nickel 335 formation, so we're going to do that as well. And we're just going to grab our best pass rushers here, Shaq Barrett and jpp and then we'll just throw safeties in here uh one safety in here um this doesn't really you know isn't that crazy and now what we're going to do is we're going to jump back over to the film and i'm going to break this down um as well so we're going to jump back over to the gameplay and the the audibles that we're going to set for our nickel 335 are the cover four the cover three buzz the the uh, cover three cloud and then we're just going to come out in tampa two every single play now really quickly what i want you to notice um, what I want you to notice about Blocky's bunch is as a general rule, and this is general for a lot of gun bunch bunch schemes that you're going to see, he is going to be coming out in the gun bunch, typically to the wide side of the field. Um, I have the numbers written down somewhere on a sheet, but the majority of the time he'll be on the wide side of the field, as is most people with the bunch. The one player that doesn't do this actually a lot is Young Kiv, which is really, really interesting. Young Kiv is one of the best offensive minds in Madden, but here's what we're going to see. So what I want you to notice, first and foremost, is this is nickel 3D5. There's nothing crazy here. I mean, literally nothing crazy. Um, this is basic, basically what he has done is, and let me just show you how the play looked when he came out. So Blocky, let me just show you from, from right here. And we're going to break down everything in this game because I just thought this was a defensive masterpiece. So strap in. This might be a little bit longer of a video. If you have questions about everything, just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, but let's jump in. This is going to be a deep dive on this incredible game. So um, what you'll see here is Dat Boy, I don't think he even has auto flip on. I think he literally just flipped the play himself whenever he came out. Now you see that he was base aligned. 
he unbased aligns his defense and he goes into uh, you know basically a press look here at the snap of the ball now you see this motion right here this this is how you know that he's not he's not base aligned he is unbased aligned they're lined up just like this now this is what we really have to make pay special attention to this base shell that he's gonna sit in and he will go back and forth between cover three and cover two but generally he's gonna have this guy on a cover two zone this guy on a cover two zone he's got this guy right here on a cloud flat this guy on the outside on a cloud flat and he's actually he actually gets caught here he ends up blitzing the slot i don't know i think he just didn't get his adjustments in but his essential strategy on this is to take this defender right here and to man him up on that double post route and then to basically take this side of the field away with his user at the snap of the ball what you're going to see is as you see they're going to close off i think he's actually mabling this side so let me come over here to gameplay and show you what happened on this first day, uh, of the drive so blocky is in so here i am over here in the cover two defense now as you can see this is the base look right here and actually it was flipped so as you can see right here this is what Dat boy was was looking like coming out all right he came out it was flipped so he hit uh flip to flip the bunch from that point right there he base aligned and he pressed as you can see this is the base look that you saw now from this point right here he can do a couple of different things especially against bunch you have a decent ability to get some pressure because of where the slot cornerback lines up so i think that's kind of what he was thinking on this play um, either that or he just didn't get his adjustments in but essentially his core strategy was to mabel the right side of the field because he doesn't want to get the flood concepts the the uh the corner routes and those things doesn't want to give those up so he's going to put a purple zone here from Devin white other than that he's going to man up this backside um, backside linebacker onto circle who's going to be running that double post route and then his in general goal is going to be to basically user this side of the field now blocky's route combination uh from this is a simple drag route um and basically uh, what it boils down to is he is going to block the running back and then he is going to drag route his tight end and basically run a little mesh post concept uh, right here underneath the defense. Now, as you can see here, Dat Boy is going to use her right in here and then basically just have to take that away. And then from there, he's going to be all right. Now, let's jump back over into screen and I want to show you kind of what's going on. So, first and 10, Blocky's going to be able to, as you can see here, um, this man up is going to take this away right here um if we back it up just a little bit i want to show you where his lurk goes now i feel like this is kind of bad user um you see right here where is he going like who is he guarding on this play um what i want to see him do is come right in here and take away these underneath drags he was probably anticipating that blocky might be running a post route or a streak route to this r1 or rb guy Anyways, here you see we've got the running back block. We've got the underneath mesh concept. And Blocky does a good job of checking it down right here and then just taking his uh, taking his little drag for about 10 yards. So that's the first play. But a lot was shown in that first play that can show promise for what Dat Boy is going to be able to do. Um, and this is a very, very interesting uh, defensive approach. So let me show you here real quick. So now you see Blocky comes out in bunch flipped. Dat Boy comes out in the flipped version of the nickel 335 okay now he manually did this he did not he doesn't have auto flip on he, as you can tell from the first play he does not have auto flip on at least not yet so anyway here we go base or um, he man aligned now see here he flips so he's gonna flip that boy flips with the bunch you have to manually flip it and now here on the second play uh, it looks like blocky is going to run uh, kind of standard double post with the running back on the in route the RB route dragging across so he's got that high low now as you can see out here that boy has a cover two so it's that standard cover two shell again now he's got the mabel coverage out here this guy's drifting back into mabel coverage this guy's in a cloud this guy's in a cloud this guy's in deep half deep half this guy right here is coming over to man up on the running back he kind of messes up with his user in my opinion right here and i think this guy is manned up on rb but i could be wrong about that so let's see. Oh, no, no, no. This is the key adjustment. I actually want to explore, break this down here really quickly. So even though Blocky's going to complete this ball, this is this is a huge, huge tip for the nickel 3 3 five. A lot of players use this, and I um, I did not realize how good it was until I saw Dat Boy use it in this game. Um, with a slot corner, what you can do, 
Um, and so as you notice here, Blocky flipped the bunch. So I'm going to flip the bunch. So he comes out, bunch flipped. I come out, and Nickel 335 flipped. Now in that situation, um, Blocky is then going to flip the bunch. So I'm going to flip mine, and then I'm going to base a line, or unbase a line, basically, and then I'm going to press coverage, as you can see right here. Now, the, to recreate the same show, you've got the, 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 um, the purple zone over here on the right, and then this guy right here is manned up on that double post route, and then he's blitzing three. Now, what he does with this slot corner is he is going to put him in a bluff blitz, a bluff blitz. As you see, that's going to give him the three wreck hook zone. Three wreck hook zones are very glitchy, and they do very, very good against a lot of different coverages. So let me just show you the recreate the route combination really, really quickly here. You just have that underneath drag. That's basically what he's going to go with. So really all that boy has to do is take away this left side. And as you can see, everything is bagged. And if you get a good block shed, you can be going. So uh, let's jump back over here and see what happens. As you can see, his user gets caught up here. I'm not quite sure why he did that. I think that was a mistake. But um, as you can see, it might have even been a user rush. I don't think it was a user rush. So I think it was just a mistake. Blocky's going to hit that check down in route. Perfect read from Blocky. And he's going to keep moving forward. So, um, but you'll see this, 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 even though that Blocky's moving the ball, that boy is being able to take away the big play. He's able to take away what Blocky wants to do. So same thing here. Here we go. We've got the, the pinch line now. Um, and then as you can see here, we've got this slot corner. Same thing, nickel 335. Now he's going to re-spread it out. Now right here, this is what I want to show you. Same thing. Cover two here, cover two here. Now right here, I feel like that boy is going to get a bad call. But basically, Blocky's running flood, so he's got his little little flat route. He's going to have the little out route right there, and then he's got this deep crosser. As you can see, this out route right here, that boy has his has him manned up because he's anticipating him running double posts. So this manned up assignment is going out, running out to the hard flat. You could probably hit, you, you might be able to hit that, but that's just not a good look. Really, this is just a pull route. As you can see, Blocky's still going to uh, basically use this back in to block. And they give him a little bit of extra protection. This Mabel coverage is going to completely take this away. This purple zone is going to take away that route right there. So all that boy has to do is take away the crossing route. And as you can see here, I think he actually has that. And that's where that three wreck hook comes in handy. The three wreck hook basically follows this crossing route all the way across. Blocky's going to end up throwing it anyway. And as you can see there, he gets the pick. Now, he does get the penalty for illegal contact, in my opinion. That was a break for Blocky because that boy had him. I mean, he had him right there early and was going to be able to get the interception. That's that three red hook as we're talking about. It just gets glitchy. As you can see, you can see he even showed the play right there. Um, he's showing this three red hook. This three red hook is so, so powerful. You'll see it again right here. Tampa 2, he's got the cloud out here. He's got the cloud out here. He's got the deep halves out here. The reason these deep halves are so important is those deep halves are the basic ability to be able to stop some of the deep um, the deep streak glitching that you can do from the gun bunch, meaning the, the cover three beaters, the uh, cover four beaters, the palms beaters, the streaks up the seams through the, to the slots. That's what these deep halves are going to do. And it's going to basically force Blocky to work over the middle of the field and have to deal with Dat Boy's user. Now, again, here, it looks like Dat Boy's trying to basically get a disengage pressure uh, right in here in this A gap. But as you can see, again, cover two here, Mabel coverage here. He's got the three rack right there. Now, on this route combination, let me back it up just a second here and make sure I get this right for you. So um, so right here, he flips a bunch. He flips it again. This is just kind of standard. Now, what you're going to see on this is you're going to see flat route, drag route, crossing route, and then streak route. Now, um, in my opinion... Or was that a wheel? Oh, this was this was vertical. This was vertical. Yeah. So he mans him up here, and then basically uh, the three wreck is going to hang. And right here, this is just a really good read. Let me back this up and show you this one more time. So Blocky goes to verticals right here, um, and I, I wish he would have ran this a little bit more. Uh, I felt like that right there, what you could see in that one play, was was that was the most open anybody had been all game. Um, and 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 anyway, so he's going to go down into a little bit of a goal line. Uh, type of situation red zone red zone style of offense in this position right here you see that boy uh, basically shifts and he sees it he's going to go into nickel 335 wide try to stop the run um, I actually love this uh, I actually love that call 
I just don't think the setup was there. I really would have rather seen him shift the line to the left. When you shift the line to the left at a nickel 335 wide, oftentimes you'll be able to blow up some of those inside zones and some of those uh, RPO traps. I think nickel 335 wide, um, just based on my research, has been a little bit more effective, uh, at least especially in the clubs, than the um, than the big nickel over G for run defense. So what you're going to see right here, this is Blocky's kind of go-to red zone setup. Now he's going to take this guy, he's going to put him up the seam. This guy on the left side is on this route right here. This is a great uh, route combination. He's got these two little underneath reads right here. That boy's showing another cover two look, but right here he might shift into cover three. Um, we'll see. And no, he stays cover two. So you'll see here, there's the man up on this guy right here. Okay, he's got the uh, this uh, this guy right here is going to drop here, but cover two over here, cover two over here, sending four this time because he's going to send that slot corner just to get a little additional pressure. This guy and in and in, in Blocky will come back to this, but he knows. That boy knows he's got to get back on this read right here. So you've got the cross manning of the players. You see here, very good cross manning right there. Be able to take away that tight end. He's able to take away the streak manually. Blocky has to throw it away. Phenomenal defense. And let me restate that really, really quickly here. Um, and let me show you uh, exactly what you're going to get. Now, this is more of a red zone style defense um, for this cover, too. And we're going to break it down in practice mode in just one moment. I just want to show you. Now, I personally, oh, um, now I personally really, really like this um, this adjustment that he makes. Right here. So, Blocky and a lot of people that run gun bunch in the red zone, they're anticipating that you're going to run cover two, right? That's that's what most bunch players will anticipate. So, what what Dap Boy does, which is so dang smart, um, is he is going to basically try to bait you into throwing the tight end route. So he's going to double flat. Um, he's going to throw a hard flat on that right side of the field. He's going to throw a three wreck. Remember that bluff blitz to the slot corner. And then that backside guy is going to be manned up on the tight end this time because double post is not as much of a threat in the red zone as it is in other parts of the field. And so what you're going to see right here, and I'm just going to recreate this the best I can, but basically um, you're going to have you know effectively this concept and we're just going to put this guy, he would be on a wheel route, but effectively he's on this. Now you're in the red zone, and at the snap of the ball, he's going to just basically take the streak. You see how that three wreck can really just kind of confuse the offense, and it did. I mean, it very much so did in this game. That three wreck left the incredible adjustment, but the double flat really does its job. As you can see right here, that bluff blitz comes down onto the running back, is able to take the running back completely out of the play, any underneath crossing routes, that's what three rec hooks do. They take away these underneath little drag routes, crossing routes, those kind of things. And the way yellow zones, in my opinion, jump this year, especially if you have corners or safeties in those positions, they can jump a lot of routes. Um, you'd be very, very surprised at how well they play. Anyway, right here, everything's bagged. Blocky's got to get rid of the ball. And now he's going to come up in second down. So um, you can see the wheels are starting to turn. I mean, if you, can, you watch Blocky's facial expressions, through this game you can start to see the wheels start to turn in this game now i'm not going to say that everything was completely bagged and it's the best bunch defense of all time i'm just going to say that for blocky this was phenomenal defense i think there's still th certain things that are very very open in this and there's some things that we can take away and learn both good and bad from the defense that dat boy was able to play in this game so uh, we're going to jump in here to second and ten this ball is on the 13 yard line and on the left hash. Now, if you notice when he's on the left hash, right here, he's gonna he comes out a bunch, but you know Blocky's gonna wanna run this to the wide side field, so you know he's gonna run and flip it, um, and goes to the same setup right here. Uh, Blocky is kind of a robot. He's gonna run the same basic things over and over again. That's, that's the way that he has played, and he's gonna execute. He's gonna run the same plays, he's gonna execute them better than anybody else. So what you should see here from that boy is the same defense. Gonna run that cover two on both sides out here, Cover two here. He's got this guy should be manned up on the tight end. This three red hook coming into this zone. He's got the Mabel coverage. And then his job is just to bail uh, into the seam. And you see he does a great job there. There's nothing open again. And Blocky's going to be able to run with the quarterback. Now, one thing that I was curious about, and I'd love to ask that boy if I ever had the opportunity to talk Madden with him, is why he did not spy. Um, I feel like his – it might have been just so he could get some one, more one-on-ones, a little bit better of a rush – I would have liked to see him spy a little bit more than he did. Um, and then Blocky, on the Blocky side, I would like to see him run more with the quarterback. Now, right here, this is this is a really, really good route concept. I want to break it down. I'm going to jump back over to practice mode. 
and show you a little bit um, a little bit about what Blocky's going to do right here. This is a little underneath play that's really, really popular among Gun Bunch users, and I just want to break down why it's so good. It's not even the Gun Bunch this year just has amazing, amazing route combinations. So let me show you spacing switch. And this is why we did a, a literally an entire guide on the gun bunch. You can get it for free. All you got to do is text me. Uh, my number's in the top left of the screen there. Just text me if you want it. Um, it's completely free. It also comes with all of our text message membership videos, which include Big Nickel Over G Pass Defense, Big Nickel Over G Run Defense, a Minnesota Vikings guide, and a um, gun cluster guide. So, anyways, let's talk about gun. Let's talk about spacing switch, and let's talk about exactly what that boy was doing again with that that cover two style defense so you'll see here um basically he's flipping to the strong side of the bunch so snap of the ball and what you're gonna see here in this play this play just it just does a really really good job with a lot of what people are gonna do now all block he's gonna do is just put this put this running back here on a shoot flat and basically what's gonna happen you're gonna see against any kind of defense you're just gonna kind of you're just gonna kind of pick where you want to go um, you're, you're just going to kind of pick what you want to go. Now, the issue is, and, and this is primarily, and the reason that this works, the reason that this, this route combination works so well is because a lot of people, when they defend bunch, they're going to do this. They're going to double flat, and they're going to do something like this, right? Well, if they're doing something like this, you can hit them underneath with these little hitches, these little, little quick routes and, and that kind of stuff. You'll see on this that blocky is, that's what his anticipation is, um, especially because... Dat Boy really, really likes to Mabel coverage the bunch side. So this is the base shell on the right that he is going to employ. I'm going to go ahead and pass commit. You need to be pass committing in this defense because you need this this guy right here. If he blitzes, it's pointless. You need him to go into that three rep. Okay, so you got the three down lineman pass rush on here. Now, what the, the thing about this specific play that I want to talk about is if I snap the ball, and we'll just talk about instant replay here, what you're going to see is and this is this is what this is what you'll see in the game. Um, let me just pause it and go into history play and just show you. So this is the basic coverage shell that that Dat Boy is using, and I just want to show you what Blocky's trying to get right here. You see that the flat routes. This guy's going to take the flat out of the play. This guy's going to take the flat out of the play. So right in here. Now the thing about cover two that most people don't understand, and they may understand it, but most people that run that I feel like people miss. These little underneath hitches, vertical hook zones typically will sit on those very, very well if you leave them at default depth, meaning if you don't drop them at 5 or 10 yards, they're going to sit on them. They'll sit on them at 5 yards, 0 yards, and as well as default, the hook zone, yellow zone. What that basically means is you can't throw that ball. You can't throw that ball. If you throw that ball, there's a good chance he's going to jump it and get a pick. You see the three rack hook on this backside. Let me just show you. He completely takes this away. Now, this right here is what Blocky is looking for, though. You see wide open read. Now, let's jump back over to gameplay and let me show you what play. So, snap of the ball, and we're going to go frame by frame here just to break this down really tight. And what you'll see this time, this is on a vertical hook. So, he ends up taking this. You see the adjustment right there? Let me back this up. So he flips the bunch, play side. Now watch. And this is a phenomenal adjustment by that boy, in my opinion. Instead of three wrecking this guy right here, this guy goes into a hard flat zone. So he's going to go into a shoot flat. He's going to take away any flats. This guy right here is going into the cloud. So you still have that double flat protection against corner routes, against any flood concept to the left that's going to take it. You've got your deep half here. You've got your cloud flat. You've got your deep half. Um, or I'm sorry, actually, I think he ended up, I think he double flatted both sides with no, no deep zone, right? He might have, he might have shifted. But what you'll see is the bottom line, all the linebackers in the middle of the field are on vert hooks. They can't get beat by these hitches. And he's going to sit right in here and he's going to lurk right here. There is zero things open. The one thing that is open is this little flat route right here to the back because there's no flat zone. Um, that boy did ended up taking this guy and putting him into the deep half um, and then basically tried to run a little bit of an underneath coverage concept on that side. This left this open. Blocky missed this read. Should have been a touchdown. I mean, it's a walk-in touchdown. And you'll see right here, um, that boy is trying to basically bait Blocky into 
throwing this. So he's going to come up and then he's going to come back. Um, and as you can see there, Blocky ends up sitting down and taking this three. But Blocky did miss the read. The read was there 100% on that play. But, you know, again, Monday morning quarterback syndrome, you know, is a real thing. So let's skip through this offense. Really not a whole lot to see. I, I was not really that impressed with his offense. His offense was good enough to win. His defense is where the difference lied, in my opinion. So we're just going to jump ahead here. Um, you'll see he's going to go down. And his offense did drive well. Um, you know, basic basic flood concepts really uh, was what it boiled down to. Uh, blocky, blocky running man-to-man -man coverage, but it's not going to stick with the route technician of Julio Jones. Uh, as you can see, these corner routes from trip side in are a problem, especially if you have route technician on them. Um, Blocky ends up taking his three, but you'll see that boy's going to go down. And he gets a huge, I mean, this is a huge play in the game. And I do I do want to show, uh, show this really quickly if we can get in here. But he is able to get the seven. Um, and I felt like his game management wasn't great. I just felt like he outplayed Blocky. Um, game management wise wasn't the greatest, but he does get in here. I think for the quarterback sneak uh, touchdown, I would I think people need to start mixing that in a little bit with some of the way that people are employing stopping the fullback dive. So this is a key moment in the game. Um, this is a key moment right here. This is where Blocky should be able to go down at least get three, put himself in a good position going into the second half because he does get ball at half. Even if he gets three. It's, it's not an issue. So Blocky's got to be kind of feeling all right, at least with where the clock's at. But you're going to see this defense from Gat Boy, and this is where you first – this is the first full drive you're going to see. I mean, this is, you know, full 17, you know, all the way down the field, right? So let's take a look here at what he's going to do. This is this is that same play that he ran on the first play of last drive. He's going to run the drag here. This guy's either going to be on a slant or on a drag route, crossing route, crossing route. You should have from Gat Boy a decent cover two defensive shell. But what you'll see right here, and this is where it starts. This is where the chess match, chess match really starts to come out. This is this is a basic cover three. Mabled on this side, um, and as you can see, this thing cover three here, cover three here, cover three here. This guy's dropping. This guy's dropping down, and now you've basically rolled your coverage. I'm gonna jump over into practice mode and show you on this. And um, basically what he did, Audible took cover three, sky drop, okay? And then literally all he's going to do here is he is going to, um, you see that you, if you bluff blitz out of the cover three, um, he's going to be on a purple zone. So he can employ that strategy if he wants to. Um, and then over here on this backside, what I would do, um, you see he's going to just take him, put him in a vert, or he's in a hook curl. This is just a basic cover three changeup. This is all it is. It's simply a changeup play, um, something to just kind of throw Blocky off, and it does exactly that. Um, you're going to see this on this right here. So Blocky's going to run this route combination on the left side uh, from double post, and we'll just show you from mesh post just to just to kind of uh, race through this here. But you'll see something something basically like this. So it's just basically, you know, that right there, that route combo, snap of the ball, and now he's just kind of lurking here, and he knows that that's his responsibility. And you'll see that he's going to bail to it, but I don't know if Blocky's going to be able to complete this. He might actually be able to get it right here. Just because of where Dat Boy's at on the field, as you see his user's kind of tied up right underneath here. So what he's got to do right now is he's got to bail right in that pocket. This deep third's not going to do anything for him. Um, anyway, let's just see what happens here. So there you see the drags coming wide open, and it looks like Blocky missed him. Blocky missed him. He's confused. Um, he's confused. He missed him, and now he's able to come back on him, and he ends up getting a delayed check run. That's what I'm talking about. If, if I feel like if that boy would have spied more, and I don't know that he would have gotten less pressure because of how powerful nickel 55 is from a two-man rush, but anyway, you can see it right here. It's that little route, and he's off. And gets a pretty good gain out of ca after catch of that. So very nice little play uh, there from Blocky. Now we're going to go into a first and ten situation. Ball on the fifty, and ball is on the right hash. So um, we're going to talk about that here in just a moment. And Blocky runs a lot more. Um, 
you'll see right here. So, okay, so now we flipped a bunch of the wide side of the field. Perfect. We've got these two two high safeties here. This should be cover two. He's showing cover two right here, uh, pre-snap at least. Um, and block is going to go to flood. Should have a smoke screen here, angle route here, crossing route here. Um, I don't really know about the Like, I just feel like there's too much going on in the middle. It's easy to use her this route combination. But we'll see how this goes for Blocky. Um, you'll see right here, you see that boy's user standing kind of right in this gap. I think it's just so he can quit, sure, assure that he's got these one on ones on the outside. I think that's what he's primarily trying to do. Because you'll see right here, he's got a one on one right here. Um, and then he's got the one on one on the outside if he stays down more. But anyway, snapping the ball, what you're going to see, you're going to see cover two on this side of the field, cover two on this side of the field. This guy right here is running to man up on that double post because he's going to go back to that setup. And then this guy right here is going to be on that uh, that bluff blitz three wreck. So he should let him go right right there. You see he lets him go right there. So it looks like he's covered. He's really open. Um, and you'll see right here, uh, Blocky, ugh, like that's a tight throw, but he is able to hit him. And that's what makes Blocky one of the best passers in Madden, as you can see, able to hit a really, really good read um, on that play. But that's – and you see, I mean, so far when when that boy goes into that cover two defense, if he calls it at the right time, he really gives Blocky trouble. So same thing here. Bunch to the wide side of the field. That boy is base aligned. I think he might actually um, – and right here, I think this is smash return if I – let me see. Yep, yep, this is smash return. Let me just back it up just a second here. Let me make sure I get this right for you um, as far as the route combo. Yep. So we've got a curl route on the backside, and we've got an angle route. So what Blocky is trying to do, and this is where, this is where being a robot sometimes doesn't help you, because basically what he's trying to do is he's trying to glitch out a deep third. When you streak this guy, it's primarily because this guy's in an outside third, and more than likely, I think what he's also looking for is if this pans out like this, and this pans out like this, he could potentially hit this seam right here. But he's going with a basic flood to the right out of smash return. He's got the angle route backside, and he's got the curl route. Let's see how Dat Boy defends this. All right, so Dat Boy drops into that cover three again. So he's got the deep halves on outsides. He's got the inside third. It's actually a great call. He's mabled on this side, so he's got the um, he's got that guy. He this guy right here, I'm pretty sure is manned up. Anyway, you got your three down lineman rush here. He's got mabel coverage on both sides right here. Mabel coverage on both sides, as you can see. This is just simply cover three Mabel. I'll jump over to practice mode and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, you know, basically right here, this was a shot play for Blocky. He's coming out in smash return, and it's not really a shot play. It's a it's a great call by both sides. Um, but basically, that boy's going to come out in that cover three. He's going to deep half both of these guys, and then essentially all he's going to do is he's going to hard flat both of his inside linebackers, and then he's just going to lurk in the middle of the field um, as a change of pace. Now, what you'll see here um, from Smash Return is he's trying to get this guy up the seam. He's got the flat right there, and then he's got that route apprentice on our backfield master running back, so he's going to run an angle route, and this is the route combination that he's going with in this situation. Um, and at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is basically all he has to cover is that angle route. There's no other threat over the middle of the field, um, really, but the one thing I will say is uh, because he mabled both sides, what you'll see on this, on this play right here, this is where I want to see people, like you'll start seeing this. I think people will notice this after clubs. Curl routes really pretty much, I mean, this outside curl route's wide open. Uh, you can kind of hit that eye, I feel like, with a low ball inside, especially if you would have put this guy on a flat. But uh, but anyway, let's, let's go ahead and run the play uh, here and see. So you see a great user way to recover on that angle route, and he ends up going on him again with that spy. And you see that boy starting to feel fairly confident that he can be able to stop this, uh, stop this offense. So double post right here, um, and I kind of quick snaps him here, um, but you'll see. I think he might have. Did he go to? I think no. This is the cover two D. Yep, this is the cover two D. So great. I don't. It's it's interesting the the tendencies that that boy is playing to because he is getting this cover two call on double post right every single time. As you can see, you've got the the, the cloud here, the cloud here, the deep deep here. You've got the Mabel coverage on that side. You got the three wreck underneath over here just to kind of mess with these a little bit. And then you've got that man up on X and pretty much has him. 
as you can see, nothing open. He ends up checking down the running back and getting a grand total of two yards. So good check down, though, by Blocky. And that boy starting to get some chatter going. As he, he, he sees and he senses that he could get this thing. Now, right here in this route combination right here, I just want to show you. Um, you basically have a corner, a flat. Cover two should hang fairly okay with this. You have the smoke screen, angle route, crossing route combination on the backside. But you see Dat Boy is going to shift into that cover three Mabel coverage as a changeup. Um, and and Blocky hits his flat uh, pretty, pretty nicely right there, actually. This is a pretty good read. And really, I think Dat Boy kind of mixing up his coverages was also really important. Um, but I think it, timing that cover two, that cover two, he didn't run it all game. Right? I do understand that. That's not just, you know, you can't just come out and run cover two all game and expect it to just stop everything. I mean, yes, it's a very good coverage. But, um, you know, in the post-game interview, it made it kind of sound like he was just running cover two. And he might have in the second half actually shift to that. But really, that's primarily his setup to stop double post. Uh, what you'll see, it doesn't stop everything that Blocky can do. Now, right here in this situation, as you can see, we've got um, our cover two, effectively. Um, but we're going to actually roll this into our cover three Mabel. As you can see, we're doing Mabel again. So we've got the hard flat, hard flat, or hard flat and, and curl flat, I'm sorry. We've got the deep halves on the outsides. As you see, they're going to fade back right into this. This running back on the angle route, it's the same route combination Blocky goes to again. Uh, right here, um, that boy with great lurk. He's going to basically come to this, then jump down on this, and he pretty much has him and gets the sack. It's a huge play by him. And he's going to be able to get the ball back and um, hold Blocky to three, keep that one possession lead. That was a huge play in the game right there. Uh, so Blocky's going to take his three, and that boy's going to get out at half. And and not, and this is where this is where, in my opinion, the second half is where Dat Boy really starts to put the clamps on Blocky, and Blocky's going to just be really struggling on offense. Um, and I think you can see, you know, the gears kind of starting to turn a little bit. He knows he's struggling a little bit, um, at least on the offensive side of the ball. Um, so far, real tight game. Uh, we're going to skip through this and get to get to our um, second half here. All right, so right here. Uh, let me back it up just a little. I think this is double post. Yeah, double post. So again, you've got your drags underneath. You've got your mesh, uh, mesh concept underneath. You've got that C route over top, and then you've got that post route. Again, this is one of the, this is probably one of the best route combos in Madden 21. Um, but you're seeing that boy being able to really with just a couple of individual adjustments, being able to just completely take this away. So you see right here the three rack. There's the bluff blitz three rack. You've got the purple zone. He's going to kind of stay there for a second, and then he's going to fade out into the back. Back into that, you've got the man assignment. You've got cover two on this side of the field, and then you've got his lurk right in the middle of the field. And all he knows is all he's got to do is take these away. All he's got to do is take these away right here. This is going to be bagged by that cloud. So literally, there's nothing. Um, and you see right here, um, he ends up checking down. If that three wreck would have popped into that little zone like I thought it was going to, that probably wouldn't have been a pick. But Blocky able to uh, hit that route very well. And as you see here, you see him kind of going back and forth between these Mabel. Um, this is cover three Mabel again, just basically hard flatting both inside backers. You can see them jetting out to the flat. You got the deep halves on the outside. You got this corner route or this, um, this um, purple zone right here doing really crazy. He might be even bluff blitzing that. I don't even know for sure. Because that's not really fading out like a traditional corner route. And right here, Blocky just missed a read. I mean, this this was interesting. So this route combination is flood, right? He just quick snapped it. That's all he did. Literally just quick snap flood. And a lot of people will do this. But as you can see, this guy is wide open. R1, if you lowball this, this is wide open. He misses him. Misses him completely. Now, if you fast kind of move into here, right in this pocket right here, you can't throw this ball. This is why I don't really like this route combination. I think he option routed him. I don't really like this route combination. I'd rather see him take this guy and shoot him maybe on a ghost route or something. Ah, maybe even on an angle route. Like, 
because what happens is he can he can in this position right here he he gets both of them what blocky is basically waiting is he's waiting for this guy to get over here but the pass rush is going to get there and you see he's waiting he's got the player open the pass rush is able to get in and able to stop him so you know in my opinion um I just, I just would like to see him put the running back on a flat right there. I think it would have opened it up a little bit more and a little bit faster for him. Um, so anyway, we're here, third and five, we're going to mesh post. And I think the reason why he is going to go to mesh post right here is he's experienced a lot of cover two on this side. He's experienced a lot of Mabel coverage. So his thinking is I can pull both of these outside flats with this out route, and then I can hit the running back right in this route right here. I still have this guy on that inside breaking post pattern, and then I have a motion slant as well. The problem is what you're going to see is you're going to see this guy is probably going to be manned up here. You're going to have cover two here. So essentially, that boy is just going to have to lurk on this route right here. Let's see what happens on this third and five. So same thing is what I'm telling you. So you've got cover two on the outside. You've got the Mabel, right, the Mabel purple zone right there. This guy's manning up to take that away. So now take a look and watch this slant route right here. This is why this three rec hook adjustment is so key. Watch what's going to happen. The, he sits on this for just a second to make Blocky think that he's going to take that read away quick. And then he is going to jet and scream at this right here. This three rec is going to basically match the drag. It's going to match the slant. It's going to match everything that's coming across. And what you're going to see here is he completely takes this away. There's absolutely nothing open for Blocky. He can't hit any of these routes. The lurk is right here. And this is an amazing, amazing stop. And he's screaming because he knows he has completely boxed one of the best setups in Madden NFL 21 with a very, very simple coverage adjustment of a bluff blitz three rec to be able to take away that motion slant from Blocky. Huge play in the ball game right here, and he's got an even bigger one coming up right now. Fourth and five. Now, Blocky's going to have to go to what got him here. Um, now, what he's actually going to do here, and I don't necessarily agree with this route combination whatsoever. Um, I don't understand it either. Um, the best one for him has been using the angle route of the backfield. What he's going to go to right here is he's going to go to a flood. Um, he's going to put this guy on a hard flat, and I think the primary reason he's putting this guy in the flat is because of the fact that they're man he's cross manning him. But basically he's gonna put this guy on a flat. This guy's going on the vertical, this guy's going on that 15 yard out route. He's got the dig route and the option route on the backside. Let's take a look at how he defends this. So as is Dat Boy's um, as is Dat Boy's MO, whenever he um, whenever they basically after he runs cover two. Normally, he's going to shift into this cover three Mabel. He does just that. This is cover three Mabel on this right side of the field, cover three Mabel on this side of the field. So as you can see, this is the purple zone dropping from uh, cover three sky. Let me come over here real quick and just show you. So Blocky is coming out, and let's just make sure we have flood and double post that we do. Um, so right here, and let me just show you from nickel three through five, um, now he's typically coming out in cover two. Now he's going to flip. He's going to come out in flood, and he's going to flip the play. Now, uh, obviously, that boy's going to flip with him, but he's also going to call cover three sky drop, and he's going to baseline and press, and then he's going to deep half both of these outside guys, and then basically on the inside, he's just taking these guys and he's putting them on these little routes right here. Now, with this safety, um, what what I what I think he's doing is I think he is. Um, Whoops. Um, he's in a. He is either inside quartering him or he's purple zoning him. I think he's purple zoning him at twenty. And that that thing because there's no flat zone, because Blocky is running this um, this setup right here. Let me show you. This is the exact setup that he ran. This is it right here. Okay. And he's going to motion this guy out. And what I want you to see, basically his lurk. The only route his lurk has to cover, he's going to start here, and he should be able to work back over here and basically box everything um, as long as he can. And we'll just show this via a mid-read. But I just want you to see you know, what Blocky sees. You see how that corner, that curl flat, kind of sits on things and plays it really well. 
from the safety position. It kind of looks like he's going into the deep zone, but then he kind of crashes down. That's what blocking Back over to gameplay here or um, to uh, the replay. And what you'll see here, snap the ball. Um, so you got it right here. Mabel coverage right here. Again, this is what I'm talking about from blocking. Um, this route right here is wide open if you hit it right here. I think his read, I think he's trying to force it up because he's trying to press a little bit because he's. A, I think he's a little bit, you know, struggling a little bit on offense. But you've got this This route right here is wide open, okay? Um, if you lowball that outside, it's going to be wide open and sit against the zone. Anyway, we we'll fast forward through it. So that boy knows, okay, I've got this, but I've got a shift here, and then I'm going to come back here. And um, Blocky just, like, I... I th was he trying to hit the running back? You know, I don't know. It says bullet pass, but he completely – I think what happened was he threw it a little bit too early, and I think he's trying to hit the running back right here because the running back's wide open for a first down, um, but ends up miss and ends up overthrowing it, and that boy gets the pick, and that's a huge momentum shift in this game. Okay, that boy should be able to go down, um, puts, a, puts a little bit of a drive together, um, in the game, he was dealing with a little bit of lag, but uh, but anywho, um, he's going to be able to go down, punch it in for seven, and that's really the difference in this game. You know, that boy got seven, and Blocky, you know, consistently did not. Um, so anyway, right here, uh, fourth quarter, and the one thing I did not like about the game management from um, from that boy was. The fact that you know he took those timeouts, I didn't like that necessarily uh, in the red zone. But anyways, Blocky's going to go back to his basic, uh, his basic coverage here, or his basic setup. And what you're going to see, cover three, Mabel. Okay, cover three, Mabel. Um, you're seeing now uh, this was flipped, right? Because the bunch, or this was play side, cover three, uh, Mabel. So it rolled this way, rolled to the weak side. Um, that's another thing that is really, really important about this defense. From the 3 3 5, when, because the deep third is on the right side, which is where the bunch is, uh, the trips right, when you run cover three against trips, you really, really want that deep third to be on the trip side as a general rule. Um, unless they, you know, if you're facing someone like D Croft, you, you, when he motions, you're going to have to basically move that. But in general, when you're facing bunch or trips tight end, you want your cover three, the deep middle third from the safety, you want that coming from the trip side of the formation. It's going to help a lot with stopping some of the vertical concepts that people are going to try to employ. Anyway, he's going back to double post right here. Um, and what you'll see is that boy knows he's got to get back here, so Blocky's going to be able to check down to the running back. And get about you know, 15 yard, 13 yards right there. Uh, going into the fourth quarter here, and I think you see basically Blocky is going. Did he get? To, this is just a quick step of mesh post. Um, you see how you see how that boy is basic, and literally it's like 50 50. It's almost like clockwork. That boy is going to run cover two, and then he's going to run cover three, and then he's going to run cover two, and he's going to run cover three. And he's going to basically continually change that up the entire game. I mean, literally, you'll see it right here. There's the three wreck. There's the cover two, cover two, deep path, deep path, Mabel, manned up right here. And what you'll see is there's just, I mean, nothing. I mean, like the seam wheel not there. And as you, you see, I mean, he was screaming. I'd like to see him almost sit in that cover two a little bit more. I feel like that cover two is just, just completely bagging um, everything that Blocky wants to do. Now, right here, you see... This is where Blocky's trying to get a big play. He has experienced cover two out. I mean, he has experienced so much cover two. So he's going to try to press right here. He's going to verticals. And what he's trying to get is he's trying to get this guy in a cloud. And he's going to try to hit this right over top. What you're going to see is this is why that boy shifts back and forth. Now he's going to be in cover three Mabel. Should be. Yep, he has a cover three Mabel. He's got the Mabel coverage right here, right here on both sides. And then he's basically lurking over the middle of the field. He's got the deep middle third. And you're going to see right here. Um, this route combination, I actually really like this right here um, from from Blocky. You can hit either one of these hitches, or you can hit this route right here to A. Um, you'll see that that boy decides, okay, well, based on the situation, i got to take the route that's going deeper. So Blocky should check down to the running back right here. He does, and he gets pretty good yardage. 
So right there, you know, and, and that's verticals. Um, and let me, um, we'll just keep playing through here, and then we may take a look at verticals if he goes to it a little bit more. He is going to start to be going to verticals a little bit more here. Um, as you can see, this route combination right here. I actually don't know about this one right here, but basically he's going to verticals because he's trying to catch him in cover two. Um, you're going to see that this is actually very wise by Dat Boy because he starts to see block and block the way blocky plays is blocky is going to like i said he's kind of a robot kind of a computer he's going to do the same thing so um he's going to verticals right because because that that's the play that has worked the best for him well that boy knows that and he knows that cover three mabel right is going to take away this this route right here so anyway come down to it you've got mabel coverage here mabel coverage here I think right here, um, he actually dropped. Uh, he dropped his defensive lineman into a little hook zone to try to hang with this little option route to the back, and only sent two this time. And basically, what you'll see is Blocky can't. You know, I mean, he can force that if he wants to because it is a defensive lineman, but really nothing right here. Um, and that's where I would like to see him leave him on a hitch. Here he just gets kind of a, I mean, that was kind of a lucky pass. There's nothing else other than that. I mean, but I mean, good job by Blocky keeping his eyes downfield. He's able to get him. Now, Dat Boy, if the if the trajectory is correct, he should shift back into a cover two style defense. Um, but we will see here in just one second as he's kind of shifting through some of these audibles. And guys, make sure if you haven't already to be to join the Discord. That link is in the description below. Um, if you would like to join that, it looks like here Blocky. I think you know, in, in Blocky's mind, I'm going to go down, I'm going to score, and I'm going to get two points, and we're going to go into overtime. I think that's kind of what he's thinking. So he's going to a run play here, just to kind of, I think, really honestly, to catch his breath a little bit. But anyway, he's going to go to run play, and nothing too crazy uh, was open with that, as you can see. And that's where I think you know, the run is not as effective as it was. Um, and I think nickel 335 in combination with nickel 335 wide and nickel normal, you can kind of handle most of what people are going to do to you. Anyway, here we should see cover two. But I think he actually is going to go to cover three Mabel. I don't know if I li love this call, but you'll see cover three Mabel. Now, his user falls down. Um, he he would, in a, in a normal play, he drops that defensive uh, lineman here. This is to prevent this underneath meshing. He's going to try to come back in here. He falls down. Blocky's going to make a great read. He falls down. Blocky hits him for, you know, and that's, and you can see, you know, I mean, right there, that was kind of a broken play a little bit. So two broken plays have resulted in Blocky getting about 50 yards um, on this drive. Now, right here, he's going to go to verticals. I actually love this play call. Once again, Dat Boy, and I don't know why he's coming down here so much. Again, I think it's mainly to try to get the one-on-ones on the outside. I think he's trying to basically kind of do a little bit of a blitz across. He goes to the cover two setup, so he's basically got this guy cross man. He's got this guy in the three rec. The issue is he does not recover back, and you're going to see right here um, a great read. So this three rec, um, this three rec does follow the seam, but you see cover two, cover two, the Mabel, but he can't get back because he's down, stuck down here um, because he's trying to do something with getting these one on ones on the outside. As you see, he was able to get them. But the problem is, left shelf wide open, and Blocky's going block, block not going to miss that read. And uh, he's going to go ahead and get a touchdown. Now what I want to do is I want to show you what Blocky goes to. Um, there's a little bit of a break in action here, but I want to show you what Blocky goes to as his two-board conversion play. I don't know that I love um, his actual play call, but at the same time, it might have been there. Um, but you'll see right here, and we'll back it up back it up a little bit more than that okay so this play right here um and we're going to jump over to game play this play is going to show you what you're seeing on your screen so that boy and this is why i think this scheme can really be effective um especially on the defensive side of the ball this year uh you're gonna go to single back wing tight and blocky's got a couple of options right you've got zone week you've got 26 duo and I believe you also have the halfback dive. So you have really good running plays uh, from this. And then you also have this mesh play with this deep dig route in the back of the end zone. Now, what Dat Boy likes to do is he likes to come out in 335 or 335 wide. So 335 wide, you know, basically 
you've got some pretty decent run defense that you can play from this if he were to go to man coverage. The one thing that he does, which is very interesting to me, is um, he ends up taking his uh, user and kind of backing him off almost uh, in this situation. But basically what I, what I think Blocky could have done was just hit this 26 duo right down the pipe for maybe two um, or hit a stretch or something. But I think Blocky's of the mindset that he doesn't want to pass. So what he's going to do is he's going to go to this mesh play setup right here. And effectively, he's got the reads uh, on this. And essentially, if, 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 he, if the user does not go with him to... to block, so we'll show you this right here in game. So jump back over into this breakdown. So he's going to flip mesh and flips it back. He's got these two underneath in routes. He's got a curl route in the back. I don't really like that curl route in the back of the end zone because the problem is that curl route's going to, it's not going to sit right. Um, and right here, uh, this is just man-to-man -man coverage. And as you can see, literally everything is manned up. As you can see, he's using this guy right here, the safety, sending four. This is straight cover two man press. He pressed it, okay? He just spied that left safety to try to hang with any inside zone dive kind of thing. And Blocky actually makes a I, kind of a good read right here. I think he throws it a little early. Um, I think Blocky thought he ran commit. Anyway, Acrobat able to swat it away, and Blocky missed it. So now Dat Boy coming out. You know, he really just needs a first down or two, um, but he ends up just, you know, pouring – you know, you know, able to hit a huge dot over the top. I think it's on a, a third down that he hits this, this third and six. And this is, I mean, this is just a huge play. Um, you've got two crossers. Blocky plays, you know, very, very, very blitz heavy defense, and he's able to just torch him over the top for a one play touchdown. Um, and then I just want to, and I want to close this out here uh, and just show you the defense. I mean, like I was just so impressed with his defense. Um, Blocky is truly one of the best Madden players in the game. He's probably a top 10 Madden player in the world, at least at least right now, but maybe even of all time. I mean, he's a really, really, really good player and has done a, you know, has done a lot, even though he's not really, I don't think he's ever won a belt yet, um, but he's played really, really well. Now, right here, this is an interesting play. So this is something interesting to take away from this game. You see that Dat Boy is in that cover three. Um, He's in that cover three, uh, cover three Mabel basically. So he's got that flat there, flat there, purple zone here, and then these guys are in deep halves. Because Blocky runs verticals, A is going to threaten this deep half up the seam. So this, you see how he's coming in. That's actually a really interesting little play right here. And this guy, interestingly enough, follows this wheel route, leaving this route wide open. This was why Blocky was trying to go to verticals more. Um, and you see. Um, you know, he hits him with a really, really big time dot, in my opinion. I wish I would have seen a little bit more of that. I think that would have helped his uh, offense. But right there, he just got it with that cover three. Um, he's going to go to it again right here. Watch what happens. Um, and we'll just go frame by frame. But if you notice, on this, this corner right here, um, he is going to potentially, if these two guys come underneath on A, you've got X wide up the seam. And what you'll see here, they stay back. And Blocky just gets really, really unfortunate right there. He ends up getting the pick, and a ball game is completely over. The game was pretty much over anyway, but um, as you can see, that boy capping. So, anyways, guys, one of the best defenses against Bunch I've seen all year. Uh, look out for that boy. He's going to continue to get better. Um, if I'm telling you right now, though, his defense played lights out against Blocky in this game. Obviously, there's ways to beat it, and there's ways to counter it. But for the, the play calling, the ability to go between cover three Mabel and go between cover two, mixing up the coverages, I thought that was brilliant. And I just wanted to highlight that boy played a really, really good game. So, anyways, guys, other than that, make sure you catch me if you enjoyed the membership. We got free tips coming out today. And um, there's also a link to my Discord in the description of today's video. I also have a full Nickel 335 defensive guide out. Um, it's kind of my own stuff. It's, and then obviously um, you can use some of the stuff you learned today from Dat Boy. So if you're looking to pick that up, that link is in the description as well. It also comes with my uh, Arizona Cardinals offensive guide. So it's a bundle um, full over 125 pages of material breaking down pretty much everything that you can do from both of those formations. So 
or from both of those playbooks. So really, really solid material. Uh, it talks about uh, nickel normal, nickel 55, nickel 55 wide, 4.6 bear, 3.4 bear, all of that. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, and we'll be doing some more uh, breakdowns in the club series uh, here shortly.